Happy Halloween, YouTube. That's me trying to be a base. I'm so excited for today's video. You guys have no idea. I literally didn't even know that there was a group out there called Voice Play. I know I'm on the late train for literally everything. You'll you'll get used to it. But in that group, the base, his name is Jeff Castellucci. And on his channel, he came out with a video called The Headless Horseman. He did his own rendition of the song. And you guys, I cannot wait to get into it. Without further ado, let's just get right into it. That was really cool. <laughs> now gather around while I elucidate on what happens outside when it gets late. Along about a midnight, the ghosts and then cheese get together for the nightly jamborees. There's ghosts with horns and saucer eyes, and some with fangs about this size. Some short and fat, some tall and thin, and some don't even bother to wear their skin. When I'm telling you, brother, it's a frightful sight to see what goes on. What? Okay, wait, where the flip do I start? Okay, let's start with the arrangement because the music has the perfect structure for this Halloween style music. In the very beginning, it was so cool. We heard a chromatic descending scale and this just means we heard notes going down by half step. And what's really cool about starting a song like this is that we have no idea when it's going to end and we also have no idea of what the key of the piece is going to be because there's no no clear key establishment right at the beginning of the song, it creates a sort of musical chaos, like a haziness, which is perfect for this style of music. But Castellucci, he has the best last name, so yes, I'm gonna call him Castellucci for the entire video. But Mr. Castellucci does something very, very cool harmonically, and let me explain. Okay, I've got my little piano here. My other keyboard's too far. But the very first note we heard was a G natural. And it was the descending scale. And it stopped on C natural. So think about that. What does G natural and C natural have in common? Well, there are two notes within the C major chord, which is the one in the key of C, but there are also two notes in the C major chord, which also could be the five or the dominant in F minor. And what do you know, this is exactly how Mr. Castellucci establishes the key of this song. So creative by starting with the two, in the key of F major, which is also part of the V chord, and just kind of chromatically going around that dominant section and then landing on the dun, 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 and then outlining the key of F minor. So, so, so unique. Now, his voice. His voice is perfect perfect for this storytelling narrative type of singing. And I've got to give credit to where credit is due, and that is his diction. Crystal clear enunciation, and that is vital when doing this storytelling type of singing. And let's be honest, singing is not at the forefront of this type of a technique. It's all about the diction, it's all about the pronunciation, it's all about the rhythmic pattern for which you deliver your phrases and your sentences, and it's all about resonance, all of which he has. Check, 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 bomb. <laughs> Okay, I've got to stop. Now here is where the singing is and my god, I love a good bass voice. What I love in particular about his voice is that all of his notes are 
perfectly clear. The pitch is right on. And I've noticed sometimes when I listen to some basses, uh, some of the pitches and the phrases are not dead on. However, they can get away with it most of the time because their notes are for the most part doubled in the orchestration or the arrangement. However, I know this is not a live performance and it's a music video style of production, but geez, his pitch and his tuning is crystal clear. It's so good. And then lastly, that little trio arrangement was really dope. There is a part where they all came in unison and then broke off right back into their harmonies. I'm gonna rewind it a little bit and then we'll keep going because that was really cool. Right there, and he's really burn. That line was really cool. No, he was always great, but what the heck? His range is so good. That C5 was, his head voice is amazing. It's so beautiful. He's got really great, con I'm sorry, I still cannot believe that I just realized these are all the same people, but that's incredible, incredible. I, what, are there any basses out there? Like, should a C5 sound that easy? I. I'm genuinely confused. He's he's really, really good. Uh oh <laughs> Okay, just give me a minute because this is a lot. <laughs> Don't go down the octave. Ah! <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I want to be a bass. Can I be a bass? But not any bass. I want to be a Jeff Castellucci bass. Okay, that last note was impressive. Yes, because it's a freaking... F1, but what really got my attention was the consistency of his tone and the resonance through the duration of the note. That was crazy. I, I think I, <laughs> I'm speechless. I think I need to just go watch this video again by myself and just bask in like all of the freaking amazingness of this video and this guy's voice. I, I literally can't. Please tell me you love this arrangement and this video as much as I do. This was, th this is why I love doing what I do. This was so much fun. If you're a person who loves listening to reaction, performance analysis type of videos, click that subscribe button. I'm an opera singer who loves to do just that. Also, please let me know down below what your thoughts on this video are. I could literally talk about this video for days and I'm, li I'm not joking, for days. I hope you have a happy and very safe Halloween. Be careful out there, stay safe, have fun, and I will see you all very soon. Bye-bye.